Thanks for checking out our GRP 2614 review, setup, and configuration video. My name is Chris with Accent, and if you've come across this video, you're interested in the GRP 2614 phone, one of the newest phones from Grandstream. And today we're going to take a look at that phone, review it a little bit, go through some of the specs, and then we're going to walk through setup and configuration of that phone on the Voice One Cloud phone system provided by Accent. The GRP 2614 phone is a new, is part of the new line of phones by Grandstream, which they consider their carrier grade line of VoIP phones. And uh, they're really exciting. Uh, Grandstream has been pretty innovative in the market today. We're going to take a look at some of those innovations, including the Grandstream Device Management System, or GDMS for short, uh, another innovation by Grandstream, the manufacturer of not only this phone here, but also the GDMS uh, provisioning portal, which allows providers like Accent the ability to provision and support and configure phones remotely through that uh, web portal. Very nice feature. We're going to actually be using that portal today to configure this phone. But before we get started, would please implore you to like this video, give it a share, or comment if you'd like to below if you have any questions or anything. Uh, help us out, that really does help us out quite a bit when you uh, like the video or you share it or you comment on it uh, due to the YouTube, al YouTube algorithms and really getting the word out about Accent and our services, etc. Okay, let's get into the phone and take a look at some of the specs. So bringing down the physical layout of the phone that you see right here, uh, the phone has a primary 2.8 inch LCD color display. It's 320 by 240, and that's the, the top panel right here. And then uh, Grandstream has really uh, innovated, uh, in my opinion here, with a second LCD display in the bottom right hand side of the phone. And that is a, another 320 by 240 inch display. It's 2.4 inch 320 by 240 pixel additional screen. And uh, if you've uh, worked in telephony or you've dealt with phones and users, one of the things that uh, is commonly requested is more and more buttons. And so Grandstream's actually added eight configurable buttons down here in the bottom right corner, and then you can toggle between pages. And so you've got 32, you've got four screens or four pages of eight. So you've got 32 programmable buttons right here in the bottom right corner, along with four on the top left as well. So 36 total buttons programmable gives your users a lot of flexibility and gives people a flexibility in their VoIP deployments. I mentioned these are considered a carrier grade IP phones. That's the GRP line that the Grandstream has um, named it. And uh, these are going to be used a lot of times in uh, VoIP carrier deployments, ITSPs, cloud phone service providers like Accent, uh, organizations of that nature. So our users and our customers love buttons. And they love the ability to you know, have the flexibility to make the phone, uh, you know, kind of program it in their unique way and make it do what they want. And so we, we really appreciate Grandstream's innovation here and in delivering more buttons for, for us and then for our users as well. So you've got the bi-directional keypad here and uh, your standard you know, uh, 12 key uh, telephony, telephony dial pad here. And then we've got a lot of hard-coded feature keys as well. So Grandstream's done a really nice job of hard coding some really common features. Starting on the top here, you've got the voicemail key, phone book, and hold. Uh, you've got a, a volume key, speakerphone, and uh, on hook, off hook button if you're using a headset. Transfer, conference, headset, and then mute key or mute and do not disturb. It's kind of a dual function. So maybe difficult to see here. Uh, if you go to accentvoice.com, you can pull up some docs on the GRP phone, you have grandstream.com as well. They have you know, high-res images and documents like uh, the spec sheet here that you can walk through and you can kind of see what's going on with the phone. Uh, we'll zoom in for a minute here on the video so that you can check out the phone directly and you can kind of see it in action, how we've got it programmed today. Uh, we've got three line appearances right here for our extension. We've got a park pilot key here. Then we've got some BLFs or line appearances which give you full presence for your users quick dial, quick intercom, things like that. And on the right, we've got our park keys for our park slots. One of the things a lot of our users and our customers really love is park. Uh, we're one of the few cloud providers that I know of that can actually deliver park and the ability to park a call on like line one or park two or, or line three. I kind of use park and line interchangeably. 
It's really a nice feature that uh, the GrandStream phone support and the, the Voice One Cloud phone system can deliver for our customers. We're going to pull in a bit tighter on the 2614 phone now just to give you a more intimate look and up, up close look at the phone, its uh, features, the button layout, etc. You can see here I've got a little wider shot right now of the device itself. We're going to first just uh, pan up a little bit and focus on the, the display and the upper function keys. So just let me tighten that up here. All right. So you can see we've got our uh, account 3410 configured on the phone with our part key here at the bottom and then some contextual soft keys. As we pan right here, you can see the voicemail, uh, phone book, and hold key to the far right. Those are dedicated feature keys. And then we'll just pan down. You can see some of the other feature keys that we highlighted earlier in the video with the transfer from left to right here, the transfer key, conference, headset, mute key as well. And then you've got the far right function keys for volume, handset off hook, and then speakerphone as well. And then just panning down to the lower third, to the far right, you've got your dedicated feature key LCD panel. Again, the, uh, the latest real innovation from Grandstream here is decoupling the two LCD panels and creating that uh, second one in the bottom right corner. Again, four feature keys on each side. The bottom right key is not programmed for today's video. These feature keys on the left are programmed as BLF keys or busy lamp field. They give you presence, they give you quick dial to other users on your phone system. Uh, you can really program these keys for any feature that the Grandstream phone supports. And then on the bottom right, you've got your navigational key to allow you to flip between different programmable screens. For this uh, display here, it supports four different views, eight keys per view, 32 total programmable keys in the bottom right. All right, so I mentioned ahead of time in the beginning of the video that we were gonna be diving into the GDMS portal. That's Grandstream's device management system or the GDMS for short. Uh, that's Grandstream's latest uh, innovation around provisioning and configuration support of those devices. And so that really gives providers like Accent the ability to provision, configure, deploy, manage, anything you want need to do uh, these devices remotely from our support center as opposed to having to go directly into the phone to configure them and set them up. If you've watched any of our uh, setup and review videos about Grandstream or Yealink or many other devices in the past, a lot of times what we're doing is we're logging into the phone and actually setting up the phone physically right here. So logging into the web interface of the phone, you get the IP address, you log into it, and then you get the username and password for the admin interface. And then you set up the phone with your, your SIP credentials. People have been doing that for years and years and years. And that works just fine on this device. However, today we're going to be highlighting uh, the GDMS, the device management portal for Grandstream, and we're actually going to be able to configure and push updates right to this phone directly from the web portal. So it's pretty cool. And uh, we're going to not, it's, uh, you know, as of the recording of this video, it's a little newer feature that Grandstream's implemented, and we're really enjoying it at Accent, and our users and customers are as well. So we want to share it with you on this video. So we're logged into the GDMS now, and we're just going to take a little bit of a tour around it and check out our device configuration for the GRP2614. Um, maybe do a, a little deeper dive into the GDMS at a certain time. Um, so check back on the site or the, the channel here periodically and see if uh, we've got a, a GDMS uh, full-blown deep dive and review up. You can also subscribe and you'll be notified for new video ads and whenever we do actually record the uh, deeper dive into the GDMS, you'll be the first to hear about it. So checking out the page here, uh, we're actually logged in to uh, checking out our demo site. So one thing I like about this quite a bit is you can have different sites and you can see a drop down here and I can have different locations or different sites if I'm managing multiple customers or if I'm managing multiple locations, installations, whatever the case may be, I'm able to very easily sort the phones and move the phones, all the uh, phones that the GDMS supports into these uh, you know, different site configurations and provision them and support them separately. Here in our uh, demo site here, we just have one device and, and one SIP account and you can see we're green online and you know, here we are, one device, 100% distribution. And when we talk about device distribution, you can actually see 
uh, if we're in the U.S. here, but if you're an international provider, you're going to be able to you know, take a look at your geographic distribution of devices as well. All right, let's drill down into total devices. Here we can see our 2614 demo phone that we were just reviewing a few moments ago. And we've got our firmware version, our account status, it's green, which means we are A-OK -okay and everything is registered. Site name, last time we configured it. And then some options here. We can dive into the SIP account and actually configure the SIP account. Uh, we can set the parameters on the, on the phone, configure a lot of the unique elements of the phone, the BLF keys, the VPKs, things like that. Even run diagnostics on the phone, do some packet capturing and trace routes and things like that. And you can see a whole slew of other functions that can be done here, including just doing things simple as just editing the device's name. Again, this is not a deep, deep dive into the GDMS. We'll do another video on that at another time. But let's just jump in real quick to uh, set the parameters of the device. Just give everybody a peek into what the GDMS will allow. So this is just like being uh, directly accessing the phone, being logged into the web admin of the phone. So all of the functions here are the same as if I was webbed in directly to the phone. The benefit is I don't have to be in the same network or remoted into the same location as this phone. So I can manage all the SIP accounts the phone supports right here. I can change all the different SIP settings including simple things like SIP registration timeout, SIP port, feature, you know, feature keys that I'm going to, or features that I'm going to support. If we jump into call settings here, I can see the different features the phone allows me to support, like intercom barging, auto answer, call logging, local call features. If you've ever configured or administered a, a Grandstream phone, you know exactly what we're referring to here. And of course, everybody's favorite thing to manage our programmable keys. And here we go. So here are our programmable keys. You can see we've got our default keys for the first three, which were the top LCD panel that you saw. And there's that Park Pilot key right here. And if I scroll below a little bit more, I've got physical multi-purpose keys. You can see here are our BLF keys and our Park keys that were configured on that second LCD display. So really easy to just if I want to make a change to Steve's key here, and I want to change its function, just hit the drop down, scroll through, scroll through the different options available on this function key. You can see there are quite a few. And then if I want to, I can make the change. Let's say we want to make this a call log key. Great, we'll wipe out that value. We'll name it call log. Save and apply. And now that configuration update is being pushed to the device remotely. I don't have to do anything other than just let the GDMS talk to the phone. The phone will download the configuration instantly. For a lot of the changes, it doesn't impair functionality of the phone at all. It just changes the programming in the background. So the phone doesn't have to re-register or you'd be knocked out of service for a time being um, so that the phone uh, can be updated. It happens all in the background. On that note, we'll talk about firmware here. Uh, this is all the firmware that the uh, GDMS and the G, the different uh, Grandstream phones support. You can see that um, there's a lot of different models of phones. There's actually two pages here. We'll just um, go to the second page real quick. So you've got the total, the whole GRP line, the GXV phones, the wireless phones, the WPA20, the DP phones. And what we love here at Accent, all the GXP phones are now supported. Accent's deployed a lot of GXP phones, thousands and thousands of GXP model phones, and now they're all supported in the GDMS portal and the HT devices or the handy tone analog adapters as well. You can even upload custom firmware into the portal if you'd like. Again, not a deep dive on the GDMS here, just hitting some of the highlights. Back to our device list here, and we'll just filter out for this site. Again, we want to just go to our demo site. All right, perfect. I can filter by city, account status, device status, site, firmware version. This is my large list of all devices. Any device, I can even search right here to go Mac device name. It's great. You can set up, you can go to gdms.cloud. Right here, you see it up here. And you can set up an account on 
the, the GDMS. Uh, it does say beta here in the top left, but um, it's uh, production quality at this point in time and um, you know, highly recommended by the folks here at Accent. So that's the GRP2614 phone. We appreciate you checking out this video. And as I mentioned previously, if you like this video, give it a like, or if you have a question, drop a comment below or share this video with your friends or anybody that you think might be interested in learning more about uh, setting up and configuring the GRP2614 phone and, and all of its features and unique uh, functions that Grandstream's delivered in their latest line of uh, carrier grade VoIP phones. And if you want to learn more about Accent, you can visit our website at accentvoice.com, where you can learn about the Voice One Cloud phone system, our team collaboration services, and team collaboration app and software, and our unified communication services for business. We offer a full suite of cloud-based communication services for businesses ranging from five to 5,000 users. Um, you can give us a subscribe to our channel as well, which always helps, and you, that way you can be updated for the latest content, the latest phone reviews and configuration videos that we do. Uh, we do a lot of uh, different um, VoIP-based product videos and uh, config and setup reviews and things of that nature, so I'm sure you'll find this uh, worthwhile if you do subscribe. Again, I want to thank you for watching this video. My name is Chris with Accent, and have a great day.